Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll be showing you the new way to control your mounting and to also see it in your preview, as well as the new way to do your setup. We'll first start off by taking a look at a Williamin W508MT machine. And if we actually look at the machine, you'll see that it has a main spindle. And we'll see later on with, during our preview, the back spindle, as well as one particular turret and some other devices that we have in here as well. We can see here all the movements of our devices, such as these jaws over here by simply moving the jaws you can see them opening and closing as well you can see the movement of the u-axis as well as the x y z let me just go a little ahead and show you our v-axis on our v-axis in this particular machine we have different devices such as our back spindle as shown over here our tail stock as shown over there. And as I'd mentioned in the beginning, we also have jaws to grab a part over here, just as an advice. Now let's take a look at our mounting. If we open up our tool table, you can see we have the option of previewing the mounting itself. If I were to click on mounting, you'll see the actual machine itself and you can see also that as i am clicking on the tools it'll change here as well so i don't have to close the window everything is very dynamic in addition to this we have different types of controls that we can actually show the way we can actually view the part we have the top views right back bottom left and the actual machine view itself when you actually stand in front of the machine. Now we also have some dynamic views over here. If we take a look at the tool itself and we'll zoom into the tool, we can actually see any changes that we want made. You see it as we change it. Same thing if we move it in the Z or in the X direction as well. Now we can also see all the different movements of our different axes, such as our B axis. Now note, every single time I turn it on my wheel, it moves another degree. If I were to hold control and now move it, it moves 100 degrees. If I were to hold shift, it moves every 10 degrees. If I were to hold control and shift, it'll move 0.1 degree every single time. And the same is true with all the other axes over here as well. We have our Z and note, if I go beyond my limit, it will turn red. Now let's take a look at our setup. First you'll note that in our setup itself, we now have a preview of the machine, machine preview. By clicking on that, you can actually see the machine itself. Now note, all you'll see here is just the actual parts of the devices and the spindles, but not the entire housing of the machine itself. Now also let's take a look at how, what we actually control over here. First, you can see, and I'll zoom in to this area over here where we can see our actual main spindle. You can see the actual stock over here. As you can see, we're showing the stock in our first main spindle as shown over here. If I were to move this, and you can see the actual position of it over here as well. If I were to write in here, for example, a value of 30 millimeters, you'll see that the part jumps out to its actual position. Put it back at 20 millimeters, it'll go back to its original position over here as well. 
Now, if I were to put it in my back spindle, I'll just click on stock in back spindle. Now you can see the actual stock in the back spindle itself. I can actually turn the device so you can actually see the back spindle coming up as shown over here. You can actually see it now in the back spindle over here. If I were to put it in my vice fix, you'll see now that it'll actually go to the actual vice. Now let's take a look at our machine control. In our machine control, we also have now a machine preview. If I were to click on it, you can see the actual machine itself. Now let's, for example, go to our back spindle, open that up. We can go into the movements there as well. And you can see all the different movements that we actually have from the first, from the second to the third, including the tailstock going in over there. Now, when we go to our actual machine simulation, you can also see that these are the actual movements that we've seen in the preview. If I were to run it one step at a time, you can see those actual movements as shown over here. Now let's actually take a look at this entire part being machined inside our machine simulation. This part is an actual U-drill that has to be machined out. So let's go directly to our simulation and we'll start with our machine simulation. You can also see over here that we have complete control of our X movement, Y, Z, and any other movement that we may need. The jaws as shown over here that's inside the vise. So let's actually start the simulation and we'll talk about exactly what it's doing as the simulation is going. So we'll first start off and as you can see it's facing off the actual material itself and now turning it. Now in a moment the machine control will come in where the back spindle will actually pull out the part. You can see now the back spindle actually pulling out the part and now the tailstock coming in and actually holding the part, giving it more support needed as we continue turning the part. As the roughing is being finished now, now it's doing a finish cut. Once it finishes a finish cut, it's going to start now with the actual five axis milling of the part, milling out the actual flutes of the U-drill. Now the jaws are coming in, and that's done with the machine control to give a firm hold of the particular part. It's both now in the main spindle and being held by the jaws. And every single time it turns, the jaws open, and that's done by the machine control. Next, we're going to put it in the back spindle and turn it 90 degrees, and then turn it back to its zero degrees as well, to its original position. Now it's actually doing the turning in the back spindle, and now also being milled out as well. And there we have the entire part completely machined out using all the functionalities of this particular machine and easily programmed within SolidCam Milturn for this particular machine. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.